All right, folks. So I want to help you guys as much as I can to overcome your fears, launch your Amazon FBA business and just take it to the next level and, and perhaps change your life because that's what this is all about, right? So um, I'm wearing my nice Paul Ange Ninja hat, but I'm going to take that off for a second. So what I want to talk about today is something that I do all the time, but you guys may not have done before and you know, you may not understand it. And if I can help you understand it, that would be a mission success, right? So you're wondering likely how to ship goods from China to the Amazon Fulfillment Center. All right. Like, how does this happen? Okay. Because, you know, you don't just ring up a courier and get them to pick up the goods. Like, it doesn't work that, right? There's a little bit more to it. Now, this has changed a lot from when I started selling on Amazon back in 2016. Like, the physical act of sending the goods, like how it, what happens to the goods has not changed at all. But for how I do it, how you do it has changed for the better, you know, if you want to take advantage of that. Okay. So when I started doing it back in 2016, the goods were generally handled by a third party. Now, this meant a lot of emails back and forth to get goods, you know, shipments arranged and booked. All right. The goods were then eventually loaded onto a container, be it a less container load in LCL, which is like, you know, you're taking up a certain part of a container, whereas other people are have the rest of it, or it could be a full container load, FCL, okay? And then they were brought to a warehouse that was not Amazon. So it was a pre-Amazon warehouse where they were offloaded and stored, all right? This is great, right? This, this, was, this was brilliant, and in a way that it meant that we weren't overloading Amazon's fulfillment centers. The, the clue is in the name. They're fulfillment centers. For, they're for dispatching goods. We weren't overloading them with products that may or may not sell. But it also meant that me and you as sellers, we had to continually be you know, checking our Amazon stock, organizing you know, inbound shipments and making sure the right labels are sent to that warehouse and, you know, there was also a delay of, you know, two, three weeks between them arriving in that warehouse, getting relabeled, sent back into Amazon and, you know, rechecked into our inventory and all that. And that just was a slow process and it was something that wasn't extremely, I don't want to say passive, like it wasn't passive. It was, it was labor intensive. And I, that's not the type of business I wanted to build here. I want to build in a business that I order my goods in China. I pay for them. They land in Amazon. They're dispatched. Okay. So then Amazon brought out something called Amazon Global Logistics. And ultimately, in a nutshell, this is a platform whereby they take care of the transportation of the goods from the factory floor, okay, potentially, to the Amazon Fulfillment Center, and then ultimately into the hands of the consumer. They take care of the entire supply chain, right? And this is really good because it means that inside Amazon, I can create an inward order and set my collection address or my goods location address as a China location, a Chinese location. And then the agent that Amazon has employed in China, one of them, there's many of them, um, they contact my supplier and they make arrangements amongst themselves and the goods ultimately are delivered or collected or whatever. But in the end, they end up on a container and they're brought <clears throat> to an Amazon fulfillment center directly. Now, there's a lot of advantages to this. Ultimately, the goods reach the fulfillment center quicker. And um, Amazon have really good economies of scale. So the price of the shipping that we're paying per cubic meter is generally lower. And for me as a seller, you know, I've only one inward order to create and that's it done. Okay. Now, one word of warning, Amazon do not want to store our goods in their fulfillment centers for any length of time. Generally around three to four months, that's kind of, I think is their kind of objective. So if we send in goods that are brand new, and they don't sell, and they're stuck in Amazon, that can be a problem. Also, if the goods have a problem that we have not noticed in China, we have not had rectified, and they reach Amazon, that can also be a problem, because Amazon may not want those goods in the fulfillment center, and it could cause a whole host of issues, right? But there's ways to overcome that by, you know, getting checks completed in China and so forth, just to make sure that doesn't happen. And likewise, just doing really good research to make sure that the products you are sending in um, have a good demand, right? Nonetheless, all that aside, I've been using this model for the past year and it has worked very well for me so far. And it has saved me a lot of money and it's also just saved me a lot of time. I create the inward order, the goods are dispatched, 
they arrive in the Amazon fulfillment center. And that's the way I'm going to, I'm going to try and continue to, to do it. Right. So if I said, if I was new, I was starting out and I was setting up an Amazon seller central account. One of the first things I do after that was completed, I would set up a global logistics account, an Amazon global logistics account for the U S and the UK, or like, you know, if you were selling in both, but if you're only selling one, set it up in that location. Right. And I would use that portal to get my goods transported from China to the fulfillment center and ultimately to your customer. And just, it, it makes so much sense. It makes things so much easier, right? We want to build a business that can grow with us and like, Amazon Global Logistics, you know, if we want to book 10 containers, that's no problem, right? So that, that's the way I'd be doing it. Um, so guys, if this is like the right type of video for you guys and you like it, please let me know in the comments. Um, else, if you want to do this for yourself, just click on the link in the description where we can work together. There's different ways we can do that. Nonetheless, hit subscribe. I really enjoy making these videos and I hope you get value out of them because, you know, I put a, bit of, I put a little bit of effort into them. So, you know, it's um, if I can inspire you to do this. That, that's a job well done.